Hi there, this is Phil with Phil Effects, and uh, we're on our part three of our bouncing ball tutorial. And in this part, I'm going to show how to uh, start with your blocking and uh, produce the animation, but we're going to use the 3D path feature of Toon Boom Harmony and not use uh, separate uh, positions. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, let's look at our uh, uh, initial ball blocking and we had uh, the animation that shows that and we can see it moving across and uh, let me stop that so let me go in and we'll come back to the beginning and if I wanted to use 3d path then what I would do is instead of having separate over here under layer properties I would click 3d path now this brings up initial a an issue right from the start so let's go ahead and I'll just hit play and we'll see the problem so this an animation initially was set up with separate values and uh, harmony when you change from separate to 3d path or from 3d path to separate the uh, keys don't translate across and so even though the keys are there you can see that there isn't any blocking animation going on so what we need to do is I basically need to recreate my blocking and I can do that uh, the quickest way to do that essentially is to take this uh, animation where this is separate and uh, by changing that back to separate I didn't lose things so my keys are still there from separate right so I am going to use that as a reference so I'm going to right click here on the ball blocking layer and I'm going to take and uh, duplicate the selected layers. So <clears throat> let me take my new duplicated layer and put this on the top and I'm going to blocking and call this 3D path so I can easily tell the difference. So if we turn this off here's my initial blocking and this is separate and so we play this through and I still have my movements alright let's go back to the beginning and I'll turn this on and turn this off but on my 3d blocking path I'm gonna set this to 3d path and now if we hit play nothing is moving so I lose my blocking essentially so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rebuild this and I can easily rebuild this by turning on the reference one that I copied from and I go in and now we'll go to frame 12 and I just take this and I move it down note that I have translations and I have animation on so that created a uh, step motion blocking and I just follow what I had before and all I need to do then is just essentially follow this through and I'm recreating that initial blocking I did but now I have that on the 3d path which is the way I want to animate this animation so I'm copying that over and we go to here here and here and here so now I've successfully duplicated my 3d blocking my, my blocking rather that I had on separate but I've duplicated onto a 3d path I'm gonna take this one and turn this off and now if I loop this you can see that I have my blocking transferred and I have it for a 3d path so this is our layer uh, so let's go in and we're going to do our animation and we start the same way as we did before so that is by going in and I select everything I hold down shift and click at the end and I right click in here and I say set motion keyframe and now I have interpolation and we have interpolating and this is all on a 3d motion path and if we go in and we click up here we can see that path now this looks substantially different from if you will remember 
our uh, part two series where the paths in between here were straight lines and you can see now that uh, Harmony automatically puts in more uh, kind of curved lines in its initial blocking. I still have that same issue I had initially where things aren't quite so separate the way I want it so let's go ahead and we'll fix those real quick and I'll come up to here and I will move this so that looks about correct come down to here and if you remember right I want to actually move this over even a little bit further and I want to come to here because I want to move this over some so it's a little bit less come to here and I move him over come down to here move this guy so he's in a more correct position and we'll finish this out and this will just stop right here so now we have the paths initially set and we have our timing and I can go in and let's uh, go ahead and play this see what it looks like and it's very similar to the initial start that we had when I was using uh, separate positions so it's equidistant and it's essentially a linear transform the path is a little more curved than what you have initially with separate paths but uh, the timing relative to the spaces in between uh, looks the same in in that it's very linear so let's see what we can do to, to fix things out here so like I had with uh, separate I can go in and get call out my easing and I can go in and change that and if I go in and do an apply we get the same kind of thing where you can see I have a faster easing into this initial one and a slow easing out from where we leave so we do an apply and next and like I did before I can do the same kind of thing we can apply that We're going to apply in next. And I just go right ahead and I work my way across this whole animation. And I'm correcting the easing on each one so let's just take a quick look at what I did there and that's starting to look a little better so we're having some uh, the easing in and easing out is making it a little bit more believable although it's, it's still a little bit wonky a couple of things I can do that 3d paths offer that you don't have with separate is I can go in and I can insert what are called control points now control point allows me to modify this path but it doesn't insert a keyframe and the way you insert a control point is I simply go and I place my cursor in this case close to the line and I hit the letter P on the keyboard and that places in a control point Now notice I put this in and that's like one, two, three, four, close to the, here's the first one, the second one, the third one, and the fourth keyframe. So between the third and fourth keyframe is where this control point is. So if you look here, there has not been a keyframe that's been added, but I have this control point that allows me to modify what this uh, path looks like. I can likewise go over here and hit P and hit P go here hit P hit P I can modify each of these positions so I can go in and I can give a little more height to the top so it, it gives the illusion it gives the representation that the ball is floating it's slowing down and it's floating just a little bit at those peaks all right and I'm changing how that path is. Likewise, if I wanted to make things a little bit sharper, 
I can come in here and put a P here and I can make that fairly straight and that's actually what I would like to do because that's what we were getting when we had separate values so I can put these control points in on the bottom and I can straighten these paths out so they look closer to what the type of path that I was getting when I had uh, separate okay so now let's take a look at this animation and see what it looks like just that right there changing it cleans it up quite a bit and you can see that by using control points and using my ease in and ease out I get a much closer to a realistic animation now where you would go from here is really just walking through the eases and let's go ahead and do that so you can see that again so I can go through here and have the ease now notice when you jump from the ease where it says apply and then apply next it's going from this keyframe to this frame keyframe it doesn't stop on the control point so I say apply next notice it jumped to the next keyframe and so I can make some adjustments to my spacing Apply in next, and I may not want to change that too much, but I may want to take this. All right. If I want to go back, I can do an apply previous. All right. All right, that's looking a little bit better for what I want. Let's go apply and next. Apply and next. And I can simply refine this as I go through. And let's take a look and see what this looks like. So it's starting to clean up. Now, looking at the two, and I think you'll find once you work both of these examples, working both with a 3D path and separate, uh, I personally believe, especially for this particular type of an animation, you have a little more control using separate values than you have with a 3D path. But uh, depending upon what you're doing, if you have maybe a, a butterfly or something flying through, 3D space, uh, you've got an airplane or something like that. A 3D path is probably a better way to go with that animation as opposed to using separate, but it's going to vary on a case-by-case -case basis. And as you work with Harmony and you uh, increase your skills in animating, you'll get to, to a point where you'll have a good feel for which is the better choice to make. So hopefully this will help you out. Uh, this has been Phil with PhilFX. Thanks a lot. Bye.